Have you ever wondered how the world will end? Thinking about this often conjures up images of an asteroid colliding with the Earth or nuclear warfare between world superpowers. We often look to the past to predict the future, and the Earth's past is filled with extinctions, some more widespread than others. The biggest of all time was the Permian extinction some 250 million years ago. To get some idea of what the Earth was like 250 million years ago, here's a map of Pangaea, which I think most of us have seen before. You can see the modern day continents are joined together to form the supercontinent, with a large uninterrupted ocean covering much of the world called the Panthalassic Ocean. Coastal regions were teeming with marine life, such as corals, sponges, trilobites, and ammonites. Ammonites being squid-like creatures with a circular shell. On land, insects, plants, early mammals, and reptiles thrived. But over the course of 15 million years, towards the end of the Permian period, 95% of all marine life, along with 70% of all land species, disappeared. But what caused this mass extinction? While there is still some debate, scientists believe they have found the cause. Volcanic eruptions, and not the explosive kind you're thinking about. No, slow, continuous eruptions of flood basalts, spewing CO2 and clouds of volcanic ash into the atmosphere over millions of years. The remnants of this massive eruption are still here today in the Siberian flood basalts, which cover an area around 7 million square kilometers. The effect of this on the environment was massive. Widespread ash blocking the sun stopped photosynthesis. This compounded the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere by stopping its conversion to oxygen. Subsequent collapse of entire ecosystems followed. One by one, the oceans quickly became anoxic and acidic due to the high CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere. Organisms began to die off. This was a catastrophic collapse of entire systems due to natural phenomena. Which begs the question, could this ever happen again? We still have volcanoes, right? The Permian extinction occurred over the course of 15 million years. But is there something that could affect us on a much smaller time period? Well, let's take a look at some of the world's biggest volcanoes to find out. The obvious first choice could be Yellowstone Supervolcano, due to its prominence in culture and mass media. Yellowstone owes its existence to a hotspot that is currently located in western Wyoming, with parts stretching into Montana and Idaho. If this volcano erupted, ash would cover an area stretching from just south of Edmonton, Alberta, to Los Angeles, California. The last known eruption was around 640,000 years ago, with eruptions on average occurring anywhere from 600,000 to 900,000 years apart. This means we could in fact be due for an eruption. But would this eruption be enough to end humanity? The answer is no. While this eruption would disrupt the climate and even harm people, it would not destroy the world. How do we know this though? Well, as noted before, Yellowstone has erupted before, so we can judge its size and the relative impact. And two, a bigger supervolcano has erupted while humans have been alive. Toba's supervolcano, a volcano three times larger than Yellowstone. This volcano erupted some 75,000 years ago, and some evidence suggests may have been so massive that it caused a volcanic winter. That is a mean temperature drop of three to five degrees Celsius for a millennium. Proponents of this theory suggest that, based on genetic evidence, this coincides with a sharp decrease in human population, creating a genetic bottleneck around the time of the Toba eruption. However, this theory is far from proven. Rather, significant evidence also exists that humans may have even thrived during this period, or at least been granted an opportunity to adapt. Stone tools found above 
and below the volcanic ash layer in India seem to be contrary to the near extinction event of humans, as this shows humans may have thrived both before and after the eruption. What is certain though is that the eruption caused massive amounts of environmental damage with regards to the climate and vegetation as mass deforestation has been associated with this volcanic event. It can be inferred then that this kind of damage did put at least some kind of stress on humans and animals alike, forcing them to adapt and become what we are today. So while a massive supervolcano would be devastating, humans and the world would live on. I believe we would adapt and not only survive, but thrive as humans have continued to find a way to do. However, it would be an interesting time to say the least. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you think a volcano will end the earth or will it be something else. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.